Those of you who know me know that I believe that everything in one way or, or the other starts or is tied directly to leadership. It is decisions the leaders make or don't make that will impact both immediately and more importantly long term the sustainability, profitability, uh, and the very existence of a business or an organization. Having said that, the most important component or part or integral essence of any organization are people. It's people first, then you have policies, processes, procedures, technology, and all these other things. It's having the right people that is crucial. Because you can have all the money in the world and all the tools and technologies, if you don't have the right people in place, First, to lead the organization. Second, to be part of something larger than themselves. Your ability to be successful and competitive in today's global market and environment will be somewhat limited and potentially even short-lived. Part of this is hiring. What I've seen and experienced in, on both sides of the, of the aisle, so to speak, um, is when people are hiring in a prestigious organization, they look for people who are coming from other prestigious organizations at the same level. And that is not necessarily what you want every single time. And here's why. Yes, sometimes you do want, if you're a Fortune 500 you know, conglomerate, you may want another Fortune 500 CEO who has that experience, right? You might, and there are good reasons for it. However, in most cases, Getting somebody who has different skill sets, who has experienced different things, someone who is accomplished and successful in an organization with fewer resources, fewer people, smaller budgets, should be very attractive to those who like, who like to think creatively and who challenge status quo. Getting someone who's had you know billions at their disposal to another place that have billions at their disposal, yeah, they've had that experience, but are they really battle tested so to speak probably not the same way as someone who had a million dollars at the disposal to probably accomplish the same things or almost the same things so it is important to understand that when you're hiring someone you're hiring them that individual you're not hiring or getting the organization that they're coming from and that is a distinction distinction that way too often and way too frequently a lot of hiring managers fail to make and understand. So having said that, focus on the person, on the individual you're trying to attract to your business, not the brand or a logo where they're coming from. Yes, it helps when you're announcing the new hire, if it's a high level position, hey, he or she came from, you know, this Fortune 100 business. But that alone does not guarantee success because you're not getting that Fortune 100 business, you're getting the individual. So focus on them. What is it that they've accomplished in life, in career? How capable they are? Do they have the right personality, right type that fits within your culture, your organization, and within your priorities? Not where they're coming from. Have a wonderful day, I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please subscribe. Share with your friends and coworkers and have a wonderful day.